To television viewers, this year's friendly FA Cup final between Everton and Liverpool was the usual well-run Wembley showpiece. But the files of the Liverpool-based national fans watchdog, the Football Supporters Association, tell a different story. One of chaotic organisation which ruined what was the match of the century for many fans. People managed to penetrate the first set of turnstiles, got into the inner ring of Wembley and were then unable to enter their specific blocks because they were so full. And a few couple of ladies who've written to us here had to watch the match on television inside of Wembley Stadium because they couldn't get to a point where they could see the game. But the most disturbing story in the association's dossier concerns official stewards employed to control Wembley's huge crowds. It's a vital job. Yet astonishingly, FSA member Jeff Doran was among a group of Everton fans with no previous experience who found themselves in charge of thousands of supporters after being told in a pub that Wembley management recruited stewards on the morning of the match. Jeff and his friends were told to come to an entrance here at the right of the Twin Towers at 11.30 on the morning of the match. They turned up only half believing the story and never really expecting to get in as official stewards. To their amazement, it was easy. Well, simply, all I had to do was write my name and sign my name on a, a list that this guy is carrying and talk me way in and it was simple as that. It was the easiest way of ever being a movie. Easier than having a ticket. Issued with security passes and stewards bibs, Jeff and his brother Paul were horrified, not just at the lack of security, but general organization inside the ground. Two of the group walked round the royal box occupied only a couple of hours later by the Duchess of Kent. And on television coverage of the match, they can be seen in their blue bibs, just yards from the teams themselves. complete freedom. The, the blue bibs we wore, um, they just give us absolutely power. We walked everywhere and anywhere, you know, there was no... The red passes, they were looked at once around about half past 12, but that was, that was there. Nevertheless, we walked anywhere. And we, I suppose if we, if we had the mind to, we could have done anything we wanted to, really, if it had been some sort of tether. It was, it was ridiculous. I couldn't understand it, you know. Wembley deny that their security system is lax, but admit that this time something went badly wrong. They say stewards are recruited from various sources, including university students and local rugby clubs, who are supposed to send along experienced people. Wembley Stadium say they trust these various organisations to provide the right sort of people for the job. Jeff Doran says many of the other stewards were as inexperienced as he was. Oh, definitely. There was um, young lads, um, 16, 17, even younger. There's one lad there, 15 years old, was with us with a bib on with us, and uh, he was with his father. And they were asking us, you know, what we're supposed to do. No one knew. It just didn't make sense, you know. No one from Wembley would be interviewed about the Football Supporters Association allegations, but their security managers confirmed that an investigation is underway. In the end, of course, no harm's been done because Jeff Doran and his friends are not terrorists or hooligans, but genuine fans. But one year on from the Heysel Stadium tragedy, the thought of what might have happened if the wrong sort of people had got in is a sobering one. We could have done real damage, you know, when I think, when I really the more I've thought about the last few days. It's, it's just such a, it terrifies me, to be honest. It terrifies a lot of people too. Yeah. The Football Supporters, the Football Supporters Association is compiling a dossier of fans' complaints about the cup final. If you want to write to them, this is the address. It's the Football Supporters Association, 59 Oakwood Road, Liverpool 26. That's the Football Supporters Association, 59 Oakwood Road, Liverpool 26. Right, well, it's almost time to say goodbye to Frank Keating, who's been our uh, early morning guest this morning, but you had, you, you said, I think, Frank, you had a point to make. I was only watching the film once, yeah. back in the good old days, and in 68, when United won the European Cup, it happened to be Derby Day. I happened to go have a ticket for the Derby, and then on to Wembley, had a top hat, top uh, Duke of Norfolk, stuff. went to Wembley, ordinary seat, once the game ended, because I had a topper and tails, they let me onto the pitch. I was nearly up with the cup with Charlton. It was incredible. Yes. So nobody says anything to a man in a top hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting and humorous way to end it. Frank, thanks very much for being with us. Thank you.